Before we begin, please make sure that you are in a quiet, appropriate place for going to sleep, and that you are ready to go to sleep. Tonight's story is an underwater forest. Let's begin. You find yourself standing at the edge of a lush, dense forest. The sun is bright above, and the trees stretch toward the sky, high, high above you. As you take your first few steps past the edge and into the forest, you are struck by the shadows and rays of light that weave their way through the towering tree cover above. The shimmer of the light beams is breathtaking as you continue walking. As you begin to get far enough into the woods that you can barely see the edge, you notice a strange feeling in your body. Every time you pass through a ray of sunshine pouring through the trees, you feel the expected warmth, but you also feel noticeably lighter. As you enter the next beam of light, you pause and try to decipher the feeling. As you stand still, Enjoying the warmth of the sun, your arms begin to slowly rise. It's as if you're standing chest deep in a swimming pool, and your arms have weightlessly floated to the top. As you're embracing this strange occurrence, you begin to feel a distinct lightness, possibly even a dissolving of your body, beginning at the feet and working its way up through your entire body. You gaze down and notice your feet are now slightly above the forest ground. Somehow you are floating in this beam of light. The warm, airy feeling is so welcoming. You stretch your arms upward and you begin floating higher and higher toward the tree cover.
bringing your arms down to your side, you realize you can stop rising and continue floating. Peering at the forest from high above the floor, but still beneath the tippy tops of the trees. Feeling light and playful, you twist your body and find you can easily twirl and spin. You begin to wonder if you can explore the forest while floating and flying. You tip your upper body downward and head back toward the forest floor. As you reach a level below most branches, you lean slightly to make yourself parallel with the floor. By manipulating your body slightly one way or another, you can easily weave your way through trees and branches, nests and webs, while in awe of the beauty and majesty of the forest all around you. As you slowly breeze through the forest, you begin to hear something in the distance. It sounds like a small waterfall. You lackadaisically head toward the sound and are surprised to see beautiful butterflies of all sizes and colors beginning to surround you. The beams of light that weave periodically through the trees become even more brilliant when they alight upon the wings. Many become nearly transparent as the sun presses through them. With the sound of the waterfall increasing, you begin to catch sight of it. The mist rising high into the sky and the tree cover clearing ahead. The butterflies, as if they had rehearsed this dance, all turn to the right and fly off, leaving you to explore the waterfall by yourself. As you press on, the light drops of water begin to slowly and refreshingly mist against your skin.
You are now perched above the waterfall, and you notice that the basin below it is immensely deep, yet crystal clear. You can see all the way to the basin floor through various shades and densities of green and blue. It is immaculate. Upright, you slowly descend toward the surface of the water, with the waterfall just far enough in the distance that it no longer disturbs the surface. You turn your head toward the surface and slowly dive in. As you open your eyes, you realize you have no problem seeing. Everything is more crisp and clear than anything you've ever seen. But something else is also happening. You realize you can somehow breathe underwater. You head down toward the floor, since you can see it clearly anyway. As you make your way down, you pass beautiful glowing creatures. Some are fish-like, many are plant-like, and they are all illustrious. As you reach the floor, you turn yourself upright and stand on it, peering up at the undulating life above you. You decide to walk on the floor and take in the sights. Sights unlike anything you've seen before. You spot beautiful jellyfish locomoting through the water. Starfish on the floor are clinging to magnificent underwater structures. And they make for the appearance of a clear night sky, but beneath the sea. You come to a cave and slowly make your way in. As you step carefully through the enclosing space, it suddenly opens to a large room with stalactites and stalagmites shimmering from both the ceiling and the floor. You hear dripping, but also something more than dripping. As you step further into the room, it becomes noticeably brighter, and you see yet another waterfall 
this one inside the room inside the cave. There is a rock structure situated next to the waterfall, just far enough to be out of reach of the splash of the water. As you make your way there, you once more spin around and take in a 360 view of this underwater spectacle. You can't imagine anything more wonderful. Your body begins to grow heavy and you realize that all of the exploration is finally catching up with you. You lay your body on the warm rock structure near the waterfall. It's surprisingly comfortable. As you close your eyes, you can't help but doze off to sleep. You also can't help the serenely blissful look on your sleeping face. As you sleep, you dream about the forest and the underwater expedition you just had. You feel clear and calm as you drift deeper and deeper to sleep.